Should we all fear the phantoms that reside deep within our own phrenic dialogue? Or should we surrender ourselves to the inevitable phantasmagoria which comes from the subconscious desires of every person that partakes of the extraordinary possibilities inherent in vibratory disturbance? Indeed, monstrous structures have been erected in the name of demonic forces as well as for the purpose of placating the all-powerful gods that have no intention of bringing an end to the endless suffering of the inhabitants of this cursed sphere. Yes, surreptitious surrogates feed on the insipid repetition which is required of all who seek to survive in today's indefinable, indecipherable world of contradictions. For what may appear hellishly unrelenting to one corporeal entity may, to another, simply be the utmost pleasurable sensory stimuli. But alas, he who presents himself as an unabashed thaumaturge is often revealed to be nothing more than a charlatan. So let this serve as a warning. Don't let the unbodied forces of evil become your unbidden company. Many have sought the intersection between the worlds of the living and the dead, but few have attempted to intimate that one could understand the other. So accept your inevitable servitude to the serpent that writhes while burning, and the serrated edges will cleanly cleave the flesh from your sinful bones and export your damnable soul to its eternal damnation. But before you go, allow me to offer you a few words of friendly advice. Think before you drink from the chalice. For he who serves you may be possessed of malice. Beware the fear that could be phallus when you enter the palace of dementia digitalis. <laughs>